Welcome back to Formula Craft 1, where today we're driving on the objectively wrong side of the world. Given this is the show where we recreate F1 in Minecraft, we're also recreating the best parts of living in Australia, the little critters. I'm your host Adam Zappel, and I can't help but notice that there's a weird lump of sand around turn 3. Well, let's get a word with the driver, shall we? It's just great being uh, in Australia. Oh wait, dude, I have to flip my camera upside down. I think we're gonna have some really weird racing today, especially with, you know, just downforce. Call it upforce around here, if anything. Oh, Blue's leg switch. Yeah, you don't want to touch that. It, it went off yesterday. I don't, no, 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 no. Oh, sh They're looking nice as well. Look like, a, look like Kia almost. You know, British Ikea, a Dutch Ikea, and a... Where the f that is like... Yo, soda! Do you like spiders? Uh, not in real life. Check under your chair, there might be spiders there. Ah! Guys, look at this. So when people come into the pit stops, they have to do this little pit game. We have kangaroo feet, a crocodile, a did did dinger. Uh, here, blue. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give this to you. All right. You need this. A knife. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Woo! That's, That's a real knife. knife in action right there, mate. This is the worst accent I've heard from you so far, Adam. What do you <laughs> mean, bro? This is the <laughs> so best bad. one I've ever done. I got a knife, mate. Right. Soda? Nice. Soda? <laughs> Hopefully, this will help you out today to cut through all the spiders, mate. You gotta I'm stay- from South London. Just uh, stay strapped with that knife, and hopefully, mate, you'll be all right uh, around the spiders today, oh, mate. <laughs> and if you need as well, here's- here's a diggery do. A what? A diggery do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's get qualifying underway, lads. Hands down, I think Soda has it in the bag today, lads. He's got the knife. He's gonna cut through all those spiders. I mean, with last year's race, Soda really was able to pull off a great performance with the uh, turn 11 wall tap, but it was too overpowered, and we had to remove it this year. We'll have to see if he could still pull off an upset win maybe today in Australia. All right, let's go check out Ultra real quick. He's gaining by 0.35 seconds at the moment. It would be enough for Ultra to get a pretty big advantage and maybe take on pole position at the moment. Last corner, did Ultra get a good wall tap? He's coming down the start finish line. Look at that. That's a tenth and a half right there. It is. Ultra grabs pole position, folks. Fastest lap, a 134.2. Does Soda have a lap right now to respond? What do you mean? I think he does. That's three tenths right there. He's gaining as we're going around turn eight. This might be a phenomenal increase in pace. Look at that. Definitely. Six and a half tenths. Soda goes fastest in the session right now as we round out oh, qualifying. Oh, oh, Soda grabs pole position. Pole. Wait, what? Crumb gets the ball, I can't believe it! Crumb is, <laughs> I wasn't even watching that! Holy uh, smokes, you McClurkin drivers! You had some plans here! For you, as the uh, as the lad who grabbed P3 there, how does it feel right now seeing a McClurkin 1-2 up ahead there? I mean, there's nothing we can really do there. All I gotta do is put my head down. Soda's gonna have some pace, Crumb might have some pace, but at the end of the day, I think this track is a little bit of luck. How do you feel right now, as the guy right here who's just rubbed the position from his teammate? Was that planned at all? Is there going to be any teammate B for this race? Um, possibly. Possibly. I hope I can keep up with him. Okay. I hope he doesn't go for a dive bomb in turn one. Let's go get a readout of the grid here today, folks. We got Crumb Cat on pole position. Mr. Soda Soaker with the knife out in second. Rocket Rays, the TV guy in third. Lapis, the fellow school teams driver in fourth. Yeah. Ultra in fifth. In 632 Gilo, 7th Captain Crafty, 8th Oinked, and 20th, we got Mertan. Well, Mertan, thanks for racing today in FC1 in last place, and let's get this race underway here then. It's a 5, a 4, a 3, a 2, and a 1. It is lights out, and away we go for the Australian Grand Prix. Let's see Crumb right now taking the lead ahead there. We got Soda and Rocket in a three way tandem. With Lapis getting in on the action there, it looks like right off the bat. Crumb's leading though. Soda's still in second. Is he gonna stay ahead? He's doing okay, it looks like, right there. But there's a slowdown for, I think that was Lapis. Massive crash, he's already down the order. Rocket right now is in third, going in tandem with Crafties. Crafties gets bumped out though, it looks like he's gonna lose a few positions right now. Soda and Crumb still going head to head as we come down to turn six and through seven. Both of them taking really clean lines there. The McLurkin teammates. Let's see how that looks. Soda going for the inside block stop. Pulls it off. 
and is now alongside with Crumb. Look at that pace. Wow, That's what a crazy. move to see from the teammate right there. He is going balls to the walls, it looks like. Trying to find a way around Crumb. So does holding on for dear life, it looks like now. Can he make a move happen to stay closer with Crumb? Wait, but now up to turn 11, this could be a critical corner right now that they both do very differently. Soda likes to go for that block stop. We'll see if he does it right now, maybe jumps ahead. No, both drivers are going for the block stop, it looks like right there, wow. and pull it off immaculately. Soda right now getting a better line, it looks like, around Crumb. He seems to be leading after turn 13 as Crumb got a bad shave. I think Soda, folks, has pulled ahead to take the lead of the race, and Crumb's in second. There we go. As Rocket said, he, Rocket felt confident in himself that he could hold up with the leaders, and he looks to be doing so right now. That gap has closed a fair bit right now. I mean, Rocket is in attacking range on Crumb. He Definitely. might be able to make a move happen here. Soda is getting a back marker called Paper Yoshi. Some, you know, some parts of Melbourne are awfully sketchy, and Soda right here with the real knife. Who knows what happened, but he's get, he gets lagged. Wait a minute. That was not what Soda needed. Soda got a lag back all of a sudden in the middle of this railway. What is this, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, There's a spider on the oh, track right the now. There's a spider here on turn 11, it looks like. Soda goes for his pit. It looks like we have a few of the drivers coming into the pit lane. Crumb decides to stay out, though, meanwhile, which is an interesting take, right? Because for Soda, I don't know if that was a smart move for him. It looked like that spider was recreating the turn 11 wall tap, which Soda is notoriously good at taking. I really don't think Soda's pit stop was a good move, necessarily. As we see it right now, between Crumb and Rocket, they're the two contenders with Crumb ahead in P1, Rocket in P2. Soda right now, who is leading the people on one pit stops, he's dropped down in the field a little bit, but he still could maybe make up some time. Lag spike. But Someone's despite lagging. the lag specs, though... Soda's lagging, Soda's lagging. Oh no, I'm folks, it looks like oh, Soda's uh, lagging right now on track. Let's both see their run up to turn 11 with the spider leg right there. I mean, if anything, if Crumb doesn't go for something bet good here and Rocket does go for the wall tap, there could be a fight forming. Let's see it. Rocket goes for the wall tap. Crumb screws up to corner, and now Rocket is moving ahead to take the lead of the Whoa. race. Wait, this is the spider on turn three. Let's yeah. see Soda right now. He's making his way around turn one. He's going to come up to the classic spider, which he probably remembers by an absolute T right here. So Killer, I don't know if he's going to go for it, but Soda must have this as muscle memory. Look at that beautiful move, oh, folks. Yeah. Soda goes for that nice spider tap, and he is jumped ahead of Killer Lull. Oh, wait, hold up. Soda right there getting a nice move on Gilo. <laughs> Folks, as we send it out of turn four, that was a pretty nice maneuver. It looks like Soda right now slamming through yet another back marker. Rocket Rays, who's further up ahead here in the order. He's not gone for his pit stop. Bro's going to have to get on it really soon here. But wait, what? There's yet another spider here? It looks like around turn six. What the hell? Folks, that is a clean as day wall tap. It looks like Rocket didn't go for it. Let's go watch Soda's race right now, because he is right behind Crumb on the pit exit. Ladies and gentlemen, look at how close this is. As we come around turn three right now, we got an easy wall tap on the spider that Soda, our more experienced driver, can pull off. Keep in mind, Crumb right there is the squeaker kid. He's a little younger, new to FC1. But let's see as we come up to turn six and seven, does Soda pull off yet another wall tap? Let's see it right here. Coming into turn six, Soda goes for a clean as day wall tap. He's trying to get close right now to Crumb. We have 16 out of 20 laps remaining. And both Soda and Crumb, our potential leaders of this race, have finished all their pit stops. So it's really just boiling down to all of this here, folks. We'll see yeah. Rocket right now sending it into the pit. Let's see, can he get a fast pit stop in? I don't think it's going to be enough, honestly. Where's Crumb at on the screen? Does he come at? Um, no. What is this, folks? It looks to be wow. Crumb just didn't have the pace. Crumb is actually behind Rocket, who managed to send it out into P1 right there. Both those McLurkin drivers hungry for getting any sort of move there in the P1 on the last lap of racing. Let's go see how this all plays out. The Spiders are back on track. Let's see Soda going for beautiful wall taps. He's getting really close to his teammate right now. With Paper Yoshi, a back marker up ahead. What could be possibly happening here now? What is this? Wait, Crumb gets a slowdown there on turn 9. Soda's going alongside... Making the long way around turn 9 and 10. Look at that move off the spider leg, ladies and gentlemen. We got Soda right now making his way through the straightaway. Up to the turn 11 spider leg. He's going to give an immaculate move right there. The brilliance, the technicality. He jumps ahead to take P2 in this race. Rocket race takes P1 right there. Our Max Verstappen, winner of every race. Brilliant job to Rocket. 
And Soda right there for P2. Oh my god, folks. I'm just gonna pass out. I think I'm losing air. Oh, Wait, no. no. Crumb got the move back? Crumb just got a move back there at the end. And Crumb took P2. And in the end, Soda just binned it. You took a gun to a knife fight there. I took freedom to the gunfight. I can see that. So I don't know what the hell happened. I was getting excited there, thinking that you'd get this. I gave you the biggest knife in the world, mate, and you completely binned it. Here comes the champagne! Uh, uh, Soda, you're looking pretty hot today with the whole, you know, like spiders and stuff. Last year, you performed amazing with these wall taps, and uh, frankly, I was kind of thinking, like, you, you'd strive here. Uh, so, never- just after, like, my first bit, about halfway through the race, I lagged and lost, like, 10 seconds. And then I just got really unlucky with, like, back markers. And it was- it was not fun. From The McLurkin teammate. How you doing, Hi. man? How was the race today here? It was interesting, because at the, at the start, I was passed by Soda, and then he died. Then I passed him again. Then Rocket Ways kind of came out of nowhere, then, and then more spiders started coming. Honestly, Crum, I think regardless, you have a bright future here in FC1. You know, let, here, let's get Rocket down, our final guy here. With Australia, I gotta say, I, I wasn't quite expecting this. Soda was kind of like Max Verstappen, had some rely re reliability issues with this break. Oh, oh shit. All right, well, Rocket, congrats there on absolutely grabbing the Australian Grand Prix, come with me for your prize. In, in Albert Park in Melbourne here. Uh, in the middle, there's actually a little island. Here it is, oh Rocket. Here we are. Come here. Help it. Welcome to so Gun Island. Yeah. Look, it's the gun. Well, if you guys want to go see the gun shop on Gun Island, everybody, please come join frosthex.com. I'll catch you all at the next race. Bye Till bye. then, I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for tuning in and have a lovely day.